Well, thanks for waving the magic wand and revealing this very magical place. Here, you will find a charming collection of fun games and mystical activities. To start, just click on an object on the stage. But be careful, there may be some hidden surprises. One of which could be finding me. Welcome to my latest slideshow. I call it the magic of nature. Here you will find pictures showing just how magical the world around us can be. Use the magnifying glass to find a picture and then click the mouse button to see and hear more. This is a picture of our planet Earth from space. The swirling clouds show a huge storm, bigger than the state of Florida in America. Believe it or not, one day this creepy crawly caterpillar will change as if by magic into a beautiful butterfly that could flutter into your garden. This strange looking creature is the chameleon. The chameleon has a great magic trick. It can change color from green to yellow to dark brown, and that's without using a magic wand. Lightning can light up a whole town, but only for a second. Lightning flashes and sparks and then, after a few moments, comes the thunder. This beautiful scene shows our sun setting on the ocean. The sun is a huge ball of fire that gives us day and night. <laughs> Quite a trick. A spider will work for hours to create a magical masterpiece. It's web. The spider's web is used like a net to catch its next dinner. Here is a volcano. It is a mountain that explodes, sending rock and smoke far into the sky. It also creates magical rivers of hot, burning rock called lava. Out of nowhere, the rainbow appears. It's a magical mixture of raindrops and sunshine. Can you name its seven colors? Autumn leaves. At the same time every year, the leaves of some trees change color and fall to the ground. The trees then sleep through the winter, only to awaken spring with fresh green leaves. This almost looks like a fireworks display, or maybe it's hundreds of eyes all looking at you. But these are the dazzling feathers of a bird called the peacock.
Welcome back. What would you like to do next? Well, thanks for finding me. Ooh, that cheeky blinky put me in this box. What's this? Wombo, Bombo, Combo, Wombo! Blinky, don't call me Womb. Extraordinary! <laughs> When you've had enough, click on this and we can do some crazy colouring. Welcome to the magical painting page. First, use the mouse to click on a character from the bottom of the screen. Click on four colours or patterns of your choice from the colour chart. Now, wave the magic wand over your character and watch what happens. Use the hand tool to click, hold and drag various objects found on the stage and put them on your character. Click on four colours or patterns of your choice from the colour chart. Now, wave the magic wand over your character and watch what happens. Use the hand tool to click, hold and drag various objects found on the stage and put them on your character. First, use the mouse to click on a character from the bottom of the screen. Click on four colours or patterns of your choice from the colour chart. Now, wave the magic wand over your character and watch what happens. Use the hand tool to click, hold and drag various objects found on the stage and put them on your character.
First, click on four colours or patterns of your choice from the colour chart. Now, wave the magic wand over your character and watch what happens. Use the hand tool to click, hold and drag various objects found on the stage and put them on your character. First, click on four colours or patterns. Of now, wave the magic wand over your character and use the hand tool to click, hold and drag various objects found on the stage and put them on your character. First, click on four colours or patterns of your choice. Now, wave the magic wand over your character and watch what happens. Use the hand tool to click, hold and drag various objects found on the stage and put them on your character. First, click on four colours or patterns of your... Now, wave the magic wand over your character and watch what happens. Use the hand tool to click, hold and drag various objects found on the stage and put them on your character. First, click on four colours or patterns of your... Now, wave the magic wand over your character and watch what happens. Use the hand tool to click, hold and drag various objects found on the stage and put them on your character. First, click on four colours or patterns of your choice from the colour chart. Now, wave the magic wand over your character and watch what happens. Use the hand tool to click, hold and drag various objects found on the stage and put them on your character. Welcome back. What would you like to do next? When you've had enough, just use the trapdoor. But don't forget to say goodbye. Click on this and we can do some crazy colouring. Click on this and you can see some magical moments from around the world. Click on this and I'll read you a strange story. Click on this and you can play along with the story. Click on this and I'll read you a story. 
One morning, Blinky Bill and the gang were on their way to school when they saw something unusual. Someone had put up a large tent in the middle of Green Patch Park. This must be the Great Zapparoni, said Blinky excitedly. He's a magician. He's having this magic show tonight. When the lesson began, Miss Magpie said, Now, I'll show you some movie magic. The magic of arithmetic. As the class groaned and complained, Blinky thought he would help Miss Magpie along. I wonder what this button does, asked Blinky. Miss Magpie wasn't too happy, I can tell you. She told everyone to go home at once. But Blinky and his gang had other ideas about where to go. Inside the gloomy tent, Blinky Bill and his gang stood in amazement. What's in here? said Blinky. Uh -oh. Oh. The other cabinet opened and out stepped the great Zapparuni. You let all my assistants escape. You will take their places for the show tonight. Blinky Bill and his friends were so frightened of the magician that they pasted his posters all over Green Patch. Ooh, you can't put those posters in my cafe. Ooh yelled Gloop. Blinky replied, oh, Don't worry, these aren't posters, they're, um, tablecloths. Oh, oh that's different then. Oh, carry on, said Gloop. Zapparuni greeted two visitors, the Dingoes, Meatball and Shifty. You know what to do, whispered the magician. Tonight, while everyone in Green Patch is here watching the show, you go to their homes and steal lots of yummy party food. Then we can have the best midnight feast. Blinky Bill was very pleased with himself for finding such a lovely empty space to paste the posters. He called out happily, Hey gang, even the birds can see the posters now! Then suddenly the old roof gave way and Blinky Bill, Nutsy, Splodge and Marcia crashed through the ceiling. After that, Blinky decided that it would be a smart move if he and the gang hid in the bush until night time. It should be safe then to come out and take part in the magic show. So that evening, everyone came to see the magic show. Blinky Bill and his gang were there assisting the strange magician. You could hear Blinky's voice a mile away. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the world-famous Super Duper Alley Oopa Great Zapparoni Magic Show! Get your tickets now or you'll be sorry! Roll up! Roll up! Meatball and Shifty moved quietly through the empty town and stole creaming soda, pink milk, Lemonade, sherbet, plum pudding, strawberry shortbreads, orange sponge cakes, chocolate eclairs, hundreds and thousands sandwiches, cream buns, apple pies, vanilla slices, iced cupcakes and sugar frosted biscuits. So, while Meatball and Shifty stole food, 
the mysterious Zapparoonie began his magic show with the help of Blinky and his gang. Inside the tent, everyone watched as the great Zapparoonie began his trick of sawing Nutsy in two. But as he started sawing through the wooden box, many different heads, tails and feet began popping out of the holes. The audience laughed as the box collapsed and Blinky Bill, Nutsy, Flap and Marcia fell out. Meanwhile, Meatball and Shifty were at the rabbit's house. By now, their sacks were so full that they could hardly lift them. They tried not to wake the babysitter or any of the sleeping children. While they weren't looking, one of the baby rabbits woke up and crept into Meatball's sack. Meatball and Shifty staggered into the tent with their sacks. You're not supposed to come back till midnight, said Zap Peruni. I do know that voice, yelled Blinky, and he pulled Zap Peruni's beard off, revealing the face of Danny Dingo. Caught you at last, roared a near naked stranger. I am the real Zap Peruni. You may have stolen my clothes, but you can't steal my magic. Now the mystery was solved, Blinky's thoughts turned to food. We can't waste all this food, said Blinky. We should have our own feast. And as Blinky went to open a bag, he saw something move inside. Realising what it was, he exclaimed, Hey, watch me pull a rabbit out of this sack! <laughs> Extraordinary! <laughs> Well, wasn't that a great story? If you think you can do them, you can try the memory games by clicking on the crystal ball. Click on this and I'll read you a strange story. Click on this and you can play along with the story. One morning, Blinky Bill and the gang were on their way to school when they saw something unusual. Someone had put up a large tent in the middle of Green Patch Park. This must be the Great Zapparoni, said Blinky excitedly. He's a magician. He's having this magic show tonight. I reckon we could sneak inside and nobody would know. M -m 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 Magicians don't frighten m -m -m me. Well, not much. Actually, if I were a magician, I'd turn Miss Magpie into a banana. <laughs> Miss Magpie into a banana. <laughs> Jeepers! It's extraordinary! <laughs> but a, a, a bit creepy. Oh, anyone can do this magic stuff! It's easy peasy! Watch this! <laughs>
When the lesson began, Miss Magpie said, Now, I'll show you some movie magic. The magic of arithmetic. As the class groaned and complained, Blinky thought he would help Miss Magpie along. I wonder what this button does, asked Blinky. Arithmetic could be so exciting. Oh, 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 Blinky Bill, this is your fault. When I get my hands on you, I'll. movie <laughs> Oh actually I feel sorry for her poor thing <laughs> This is great We ought to have more lessons like this Miss Magpie wasn't too happy, I can tell you. She told everyone to go home at once. But Blinky and his gang had other ideas about where to go. Inside the gloomy tent, Blinky Bill and his gang stood in amazement. What's in here? Said Blinky. Uh -oh. <laughs> the other cabinet opened and out stepped the great Zapparoonie. You let all my assistants escape. You will take their places for the show tonight. late tonight, or I might turn you all into parsnips. Make sure you're not late tonight, or I might turn you all into parsnips. Oh, I hope he doesn't turn me into a platypus. 
Nor me. Nor me. Nor me. You already are a platypus. Oh, blimey. So I am. I know that voice. I've heard it before. I wonder who it is. Blinky Bill and his friends were so frightened of the magician that they pasted his posters all over Green Patch. Oh, you can't put those posters in my cafe, oh, yelled Gloop. Blinky replied, oh, Don't worry, these aren't posters, they're, um, tablecloths. Oh, oh that's different then. Oh, carry on, said Gloop. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you work so hard. Oh. Yum! This tastes like vanilla custard. Ooh, it'd go real well with ice cream. Marcy, do you have to paste that thing on my stomach? Why not? It's the biggest surface I can find! <laughs> Uh-oh! I think I've glued myself to the table! Marcy, do you have to paste that thing on my stomach? Blinky Bill, you did this. These um, tablecloths are great. I reckon they sort of match the rest of the cafe. Back at the tent, the great Zapparoonie greeted two visitors, the Dingoes, Meatball and Shifty. You know what to do, whispered the magician. Tonight, while everyone in Green Patch is here watching the show, you go to their homes and steal lots of yummy party food. Then we can have the best midnight feast. Who 
I'm so clever, I sometimes even surprise myself. Midnight feast, oh wow, it's almost worth it being a bad guy. There's only one thing I like better than a party, and that's a midnight feast party. I'm so clever, I sometimes even surprise myself. Little <laughs> Bill was very pleased with himself for finding such a lovely empty space to paste the posters. He called out happily, Hi, gang! Even the birds can see the posters now! Then suddenly, the old roof gave way, and Blinky Bill, Nutsy, Splodge and Marcia crashed through the ceiling. First time I've been to the library for weeks! <laughs> After that, Blinky decided that it would be a smart move if he and the gang hid in the bush until night time. It should be safe then to come out and take part in the magic show. So that evening, everyone came to see the magic show. Blinky Bill and his gang were there assisting the strange magician. You could hear Blinky's voice a mile away. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the world-famous Super Duper Alley Ooper Great Zapparoni Magic Show! Get your tickets now or you'll be sorry! Roll up! Roll up!
got to buy a ticket, sir. Ticket? Don't be ridiculous, lass. I'm the mayor. I don't need a ticket. One, please, not three. There you go. One place. Oh, sit anywhere you like, madam. One place. Oh, sit anywhere you like, madam. Meatball and Shifty moved quietly through the empty town and stole creaming soda, pink milk, Lemonade, sherbet, plum pudding, strawberry shortbreads, orange sponge cakes, chocolate eclairs, hundreds and thousand sandwiches, cream buns, apple pies, vanilla slices, iced cupcakes, and sugar frosted biscuits. <laughs> Yeah, this is tough work, meatball old buddy. Oh, but somebody's got to do it. This is hard work. Shifty old buddy, I'm so full, I can hardly move. Shifty stole food, 
the mysterious Zapparuni began his magic show with the help of Blinky and his gang. Inside the tent, everyone watched as the great Zapparuni began his trick of sawing Nutsy in two. But as he started sawing through the wooden box, many different heads, tails and feet began popping out of the holes. The audience laughed as the box collapsed and Blinky Bill, Nutsy, Flap and Marcia fell out. We were pretty good. They loved it. Oh, I want to do it again. Oh, I wonder what it would have been like with two half nut feet walking around. Oh, I wonder what it would have been like with two half nut feet walking around. You clowns, you've ruined my most famous trick. about you, but that was getting a bit too cosy in there for my liking. You clowns, you've ruined my most famous trick. Meanwhile, Meatball and Shifty were at the rabbit's house. By now, their sacks were so full that they could hardly lift them. They tried not to wake the babysitter or any of the sleeping children. While they weren't looking, one of the baby rabbits woke up and crept into Meatball's sack. Tested too many cakes. <laughs> Aha! A new burrow. I wonder what's in here.
not feeling too good, shifty old mate. Ooh, I think I've tested too many cakes. Meatball and Shifty staggered into the tent with their sacks. You're not supposed to come back till midnight, said Zap Peruni. I do know that voice, yelled Blinky, and he pulled Zap Peruni's beard off, revealing the face of Danny Dingo. Caught you at last, roared a near naked stranger. I am the real Zap Peruni. You may have stolen my clothes, but you can't steal my magic. I could eat a loaf of bread under water. Oh, that's a great trick, Mr. Zapper. Oh, that's a great trick, Mr. Zapper. with magic. the mystery was solved, Blinky's thoughts turned to food. We can't waste all this food, said Blinky. We should have our own feast. And as Blinky went to open a bag, he saw something move inside. Realising what it was, he exclaimed, Hey, watch me pull a rabbit out of this sack. <laughs> Well, wasn't that a great story? If you think you can do them, you can try the memory games by clicking on the crystal ball. Click on this if you are connected to the internet and wish to visit Blinky Bill's web page. This will close Blinky Bill and the Magician. Click on this and we can try a magical maze. Welcome to the maze game. 
Click on Easy or Hard to start. It's amazing how easy it is to forget things. Blinky Bill has left his swag behind. Can you find your way through this maze by using the mouse pointer to guide the swag back to Blinky? You do not need to click the mouse button. Just position the pointer ahead of where you want it to go. Good luck. Easy. Hard. Welcome back. What would you like to do next? Click on this to print a drawing to dabble. Welcome to the printing page. Choose a drawing you like and click on it using the mouse pointer. Then click yes to confirm your choice. Oh, and make sure your printer is turned on and connected. Now, have fun colouring. Welcome back. What would you like to do next? So, you need some help. Listen and I will tell you how everything works. When you move the wand around the screen, you'll discover all sorts of things to do. Don't worry if some things seem to move about. This is a very magical place. I'll read you a story if you click on the book. There are painting and maze games in some of the boxes. Uh, you'll have to check them to see what's what. Try the crystal ball to see how good you remember. If you feel like doing some colouring on paper of Blinky and his friends, just click on the printer. Oh yes, and I have a special surprise for you. Just click on the floating globe and I'll show you some wonderful slides of mystical scenes from around the world. At any time you want to adjust the volume, then use the slider. Uh, finally, if you've had enough, well, like all magicians, just use the trapdoor. So have fun now! Click on this to play some mystical memory games. All these cards have lost their numbers. Using the mouse, click and drag a number from the bottom of the screen onto the matching card. See what happens when all the cards are numbered. Three, six, seven, ten, five. Well done. Now, let's try another game. Can you find the hidden numbers in Zapparuni's tent? Use the mouse to click on the numbers from 1 to 10 in their correct order. And watch what happens to Zapparuni. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Good counting. Now, why not try another game? Can you help the great Zapparoonie pull a $1 coin from behind Blinky's ear? Use a mouse to click and drag the correct coin and put it in Zapparoonie's pocket. $1 coin. One dollar coin. Very good. Now, let's try another game. Can you help Zapparoonie finish this trick? He made all these things disappear, but now he can't remember where they came from. Can you remember who used what in the story? Use the mouse to click and drag each item to its correct owner. Magic wand. Please keep looking. Magic wand. Well, that's magic for you. I'm a money bag. Can you help Zapparoonie finish this trick? He made all these things disappear, but now he can't remember where they came from. Can you remember who used what in the story? Use the mouse to click and drag each item to its correct owner. Money bag. Oh, thank you. I hope none of the money has disappeared. Paintbrush. Oh, that's amazing magic. Can you now magically put up all the posters? <laughs> Bucket. Gee, thanks! Now I can get back to putting up the posters! <laughs> Medal. Blithering bull ants. How did Zapparoonie do that? Ah, oh, that was a great help. Now, why not try another game? Can you help Zapparoonie finish this trick? He made all these things disappear, but now he can't remember where they came from. Can you remember who used what in the story? Use the mouse to click and drag each item to its correct owner. Ice cream tray. Aha! You found it! I hope all the ice cream is still there. Sack of cakes. Uh, thanks. But I would have been in real trouble if I didn't get those cakes back. Money bag. Oh, thank you. I hope none of the money has disappeared. Medal. Blithering bull ants. How did Zapparoonie do that? Ah, oh, that was a great help. Now, why not try another game? Can you help the great Zapparoonie pull a 20-cent coin from behind Blinky's ear? Use a mouse to click and drag the correct coin and put it in Zapparoonie's pocket. Twenty cent coin. Very good. Now, let's try another game. Can you help Zapparoonie finish this trick? He made all these things disappear, but now he can't remember where they came from. Can you remember who used what in the story? Use the mouse to click and drag each item to its correct owner. Paintbrush. Oh, that's amazing magic. Can you now magically put up all the posters? <laughs> Ice cream tray. Aha! You bucket. Gee, thanks! Now I can get back to putting up the posters! 
money. Oh, thank you. I hope none of the money has disappeared. Ah, oh, that was a great help. Now, why not try another game? Can you help Zapparoonie? Can you help? Z Can you help Zapparoonie finish this trick? He made all these things disappear, but now he can't remember where they came from. Can you remember who used what in the story? Use the mouse to click and drag each item to its correct owner. Magic wand. Well, that's magic for you. I made my own wand disappear. Thanks for finding it. Can you tell which animals are hiding in Zapparuni's magic box? Use the mouse to click on the names of the animals you can see. Echidna, Dingo, Kookaburra, Possum, Ooh. Frog, Koala, e <coughs> Kookaburra. <coughs> well done. Now let's find another game. Can you help Zapparoonie with his magic scarves trick? Use the mouse to click and drag the correct scarf and put it in Zapparoonie's magic box. But you must put them in the box in the following order. Blue, yellow, red, green. Well done. Uh-oh, the great Zapparuni has forgotten the end of his magic spell. Help him to remember by choosing a rhyming word to finish the spell. Use the mouse to click on the correct word below that will finish the rhyme. Magic tricks and scary scenes. Blinky Bill likes jelly. Socks, pen, baths, donuts, beans. Magic tricks and scary scenes. Blinky Bill likes jelly beans. Good rhyming. Now, a new game we should be finding. The Great Zapparoonie is having trouble remembering which animal is which on his magic flashcards. Can you help him remember? As the cards pop out of his hat, use the mouse to click on the animal card that matches the name below. Kangaroo. Well done, kangaroo. Snake. Well done, snake. Koala. Well done, koala. Can you find the total of these cards? Find the answer from the numbers below and drag the correct number into the box. Seven. Good counting. Now, try something else. Oh, the great Zapparuni has forgotten the end of his magic spell. Help him to remember by choosing a rhyming word to finish the spell. Use the mouse to click on the correct word below that will finish the rhyme.
Zapparoonie Alakazam, smelly cheese and sticky. Jam, pizza, ears, feet, lollies. Lolly <laughs> feet. <laughs> Ears, pizza, jam, zapparoni alakazam, smelly cheese and sticky jam. Good rhyming. Now, a new game we should be finding. Uh oh, the great zapparoni has forgotten the end of his magic spell. Help him to remember by choosing a rhyming word to finish the spell. Use the mouse to click on the correct word below that will finish the rhyme. Zapparoonie alakazam, smelly cheese and sticky. Ja Zapparoonie alakazam, smelly cheese and sticky jam. Welcome back. What would you like to do next? Well, thanks for dropping in. See you next time. Bye now.